Pompeo. I'm a sophomore at Abraham Lincoln High School. And this is my poem, Love Sick for a Cult. Trigger warning for abuse, self-harm, and religious trauma. For centuries I have watched as you plucked each heavenly feather from my back into what once was wings had blown away in the wind. But for you who bore me, you who preaches love and light, who taught me to bow my head and fold my arms, I will kneel on my sore knees until the dark wood of the floor turns crimson and my tears soak through to the earth. I shall pray to a God who has never once answered me I will pray even though heaven knows he does not want to hear it. I wouldn't want to hear it either. Words dripping with desperation as I beg for salvation, and I know that no hushed prayer or Bible verse will absolve me of sin or wash away the filth of my corrupted soul. But I want it to so bad that I will train myself like a dog if that is what's demanded of me. I'll teach myself to be pure and perfect and small and innocent like the young child you once saw me as. Sometimes I think I was supposed to die back then, before I had the chance to become corrupted in your eyes, before things got unfixable. But time is a funny thing, so I baptized myself with a knife and tried to break free, because what other option did you leave me? And God knows how I wanted to believe there was a reason behind it all, behind every drop of blood and every loss that you caused, but maybe there isn't a rhyme or reason. And maybe I've just been doomed from the start. From the moment you cradled your bundle newborn, my fate had been decided for me. Maybe I was born unlucky, born to hurt. I can't quite tell if it's a blessing or a curse to share your face. I gaze into the mirror to find that my reflection is no longer my own, and I swear on the bones of my broken childhood that I have never been a violent person. But I can't help wanting to shatter the mirror when your reflection appears in front of me. And I try to tell myself that I'm not the same scared kid anymore. I'm no longer at your disposal. I don't have to do as you say, but I still find myself following you like a loyal dog. If your God could grant me just one wish, it would be that your little boy never turned out like this. Then you could call me those sweet names, a doll, a lamb, an innocent little thing. No longer must I plea for you to give just a sliver of your attention to me. And I would wish that I wouldn't have to destroy myself before I regain your love. Only then will I know what it's like to live in the light of your halo instead of the dark of your shadow. Thank you.